Thank you, Walt. New at 6, the Target 12 investigators also have new developments in a major lawsuit against DCYF. A 10-year-old case against the troubled state agency may be coming to an end. The sweeping class action lawsuit filed in 2007 accused DCYF of letting down thousands of kids in the state's care. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the exclusive details. Tim? Mike and Shannon, right now, more than 1,800 kids are living somewhere other than their home and under the care and responsibility of DCYF. This lawsuit was filed on behalf of all of them. The allegations in the lawsuit are hard to read. 13 and 9-year-old brothers placed into the care of another family by DCYF. Investigators later found one of the boys with cigarette burns on his body. Another child identified only as 11-year-old Matthew R. was removed from foster kinship care he was placed into by the state because a registered sex offender lived there. Just two examples in a massive lawsuit filed against DCYF in 2007 alleging the state put kids in harm's way, citing several reasons, including DCYF caseworkers were overburdened and the state was relying too heavily on institutional care rather than placing kids in family settings like foster homes. A long-standing lawsuit that uh, we uh, are hoping to get settled. On Tuesday, lawmakers were told the state is tucking away $1.2 million for a potential settlement. Target 12 learned settlement talks in the 2007 lawsuit are ongoing. These incidents DCYF made. Director Trista Picola told the House Finance Committee the agency is already shifting away from costly institutional care. Our concern for the overuse of institutional care for our children continues and we have significantly stepped up along with our partners in the provider community, our recruitment efforts to find families for all of our children. A spokesperson for the governor's office declined to comment on an ongoing case but say they're committed to strengthening support and services for children in DCYF care. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.